Hi, and welcome back to day four of our journey through the Bible. Well, we continue on in Genesis, now approaching chapters six and seven. Uh, if you went according to what I had said in yesterday's video, you might have skipped chapter five. Make sure you read that as well. But today's focus is on chapters six and seven. And we start to see how the cycle of sin not just affects one person's life, but it becomes a cycle that overwhelms and the consequences become devastating, not just for one person, but for all peoples, for the earth as a whole. And we also see that God, God still, the main actor in the story, God continues to express grace and a desire to preserve life. And so even in the midst of the decision to start over, to flood the earth, God brings up Noah. Noah, who's uh, described as a righteous man who walked with God. Noah's responses called for a great deal of trust in God in the face of some really overwhelming events, in this case, a worldwide flood. And certainly allow us to see a great deal of faith in choosing to build a boat when there was no rain to face the, uh, the scourge and sarcasm and uh, all of that from those who lived around him, seeing him build this great boat for no reason, no apparent le- reason. You know, it could have been very difficult for Noah to trust God in the midst of a huge worldwide event like what was coming. But You know, even nowadays, I think you and I sometimes have difficulty trusting God in even the minor events of everyday life. And certainly 2020 and the beginning of this year have caused us to question the strength of our own faith. Do we believe that God will bring us through these worldwide cataclysmic kind of events like pandemic? And if we can believe and trust in God on the big things, then can't we also trust God on the little things, the everyday things, the things that seem minor, but ultimately ultimately mean so much. And as we're tested in our faith day by day, we build endurance and we build security and we build comfort and confidence in the God of the universe. Because that God, this God, our God, cares for us Whether the events are small or huge, we are always in God's hands.